Let's go over seven ways that you can free up space in your iPhone. Number one, stop storing text forever. To manage the setting, go into settings, scroll down to messages, and scroll down to the message history section. By default, your messages are kept forever, but you can change this to either one year or 30 days. Number two, delete the space that messages is taking up. To do this, go back, under settings, click on general, storage in iCloud usage, and manage storage. At the top of my list, below photos and camera, is messages. It's taking up over a gig of space. Now you'll notice if you click on it, you can't manage your storage from here. Now I've made an entire video dedicated on how you can get this space back. I'm gonna put a link right here, but you can also find that link in the description. Number three is easy. Delete unused apps. Any of those apps that you don't use anymore, you don't use often, delete them. You can always re-download them at a later date if you need them. Number four, delete apps and re-download them. Now that might not make sense, but let me show you. Go into settings, go to general, storage and iCloud usage, and manage storage. Once that list populates, you'll see the list of the apps that are using up the most space. Take for instance, Google Maps. It's taking up almost 300 meg. Click on it, and you'll notice that under app size, the application size is just under 50 megs. So delete Google Maps, head back to the App Store, and re-download it. Once your download is complete, go back to settings. I'll do this by doing a double tap on the home button. Now you see that Google Maps is no longer at the top of my list. To find out how much space it's using, I have to scroll down and find it here. Now one thing to keep in mind when you delete and reinstall applications is you're going to need to know your passwords to log back in them, like Facebook or Google Maps. So keep in mind, if you have any stored information in that application, you might want to think twice before you do this. But if you need to free up space, you need to free up space. Number five, don't double save photos. If you use your iPhone's HDR or high dynamic range mode or Instagram a lot, you're gonna notice that your phone automatically saves two photos, the HDR version and the normal version. Or in case of Instagram, the filtered or cropped Instagram version and the normal version. Go to settings, photos and camera, scroll down to the bottom and uncheck keep normal photo. For Instagram, open your account and click on settings. Scroll down to the part that says save original photos and turn that off. Number six, clear your browser cache in Safari. Click on settings, scroll down to Safari, and choose clear history and website data. And then click clear history and data. Number seven, stop using photo stream. Your iPhone's photo stream automatically syncs your last thousand photos across your iOS devices. But that means it's storing 1,000 photos, or roughly a gig, twice. So unless you need to share your photos from your iPad, your iPhone, all the time, turn it off. Scroll down to photos and camera, and turn off my photo stream, and then choose delete. If you know of other good ways to save space on your phone, leave me a comment in the comment section, and if the video helps you out, give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this.